Okay, so we're looking for evidence in this poem about how Gawain feels. Let's see what we can come up with. How does Gawain feel? Okay, so I'm going to read it and then let's see if we can come up with some ideas about how he feels. Now through England's realm he rides and rides, Sir Gawain, God's servant, on his grim quest, passing long dark nights, unloved and alone, foraging to feed, finding little to call food, with no friend but his horse through forests and hills, and only our Lord in heaven to hear him. So if I just stop there, what do we have? Do we have any evidence in the first bit of the poem I've read about how he feels? Himena, what have you spotted? Um, unloved and alone. Unloved and alone. Well done. So that's a bit of evidence we can get. Underline that. Anybody spot some other words that give us a clue to how he feels? Kind of goes with those words you've underlined. Something else that suggests that he might also be quite lonely. What detail are we given? Gathery? It's, it's a long dark night. That's kind of a bit of the setting. Yeah, you could do that bit. And there's another one. Who's with him? Yes, yeah, so where's the evidence for that bit, Georgia? Horse. Yes, with no friend but his horse. Okay, and then there's one more thing that suggests that he's quite on his own. He's got no friend but his horse, and there's only one other person or entity that can hear him. Who's that? Jimena? We have that bit which tells us that he's, you know, really struggling. He's got to feed himself. He's quite thin with supplies. I'm thinking more about his emotions rather than his physical state. Guy Athri. Only our Lord in heaven to hear him. Good. So this last bit here, only our Lord in heaven to hear him. So if you only have God, or in this instance, our Lord to hear you, that suggests there's no people nearby. So it's another way of suggesting he's quite lonely. So we've got long dark nights, unloved and alone, no friend but his horse, and only our Lord in heaven to hear him. So all those things suggest, I've used one word, lonely. Is there another word we could use for those? That feeling? How else is he feeling, maybe? Anything else? Another word for lonely that we can think of? Do you know the word isolated? Yeah, that's a nice kind of fancier way of saying lonely. Lonely works just fine. So just this way, we've got a kind of option there. Isolated is another one. So we have a few bits of evidence here about how he's feeling. So now let's think if this is an assessment question, and I ask you to write about how does Gawain feel in this poem, we've got our evidence now, don't we? Okay, so now we have to think about how do we take this evidence and write a response, and we're going to practice that together now. So I'm going to get myself set up, and then I will model how to do the writing for you. Okay, so now it's time to get set up for our paragraph. So let's assume the question is, how does Gawain feel in this poem? First of all, there are some very important words in this question that give you an instruction. What is an instruction in this question that you need to pay very close attention to to make sure you do the right thing? Gaia three. Um, um, yes. Why is that important? Um, because, um, right. Not anywhere else. So you need to focus just on this poem. I don't want to know how he feels at Camelot when the Green Knight turns up. I don't want to know how he feels at Bertilac's castle. I don't want to know how he feels at the end of the story. I want to know how he feels in this poem, and that's it. Okay? It's a really important thing that a lot of people are getting wrong when it comes to assessments in English right now. Okay, so this is the question. So now I've got to start off. The way I always start off when I'm writing about um, in response to a question is to answer it. So I'm going to say, in 
this poem, Gawain feels, and what are some of the words that we used? How does he feel? Isolated. And what was the other word we came up with? And lonely. Okay, so I've answered the question. So now I have to use some of the evidence that we've accrued to um, prove my answer. So what could I say? What's the first bit of evidence I can use? Himena. Good, and I'm going to combine those just like you've done into one bit. So I'm going to start with, for example, it says um, he is going through, and I'm going to use these speech marks to show I'm copying from the text. That's how I show I'm copying. Long, dark nights, unloved and alone. Okay, so now I've got the evidence, and now I've got to explain it a little bit. So I'm going to say, this tells the reader. What does it tell us, that quote? Long dark nights, unloved and alone. What does it tell us? Okay, so we're going to say this tells the reader um, that time is moving slowly for Gawain, and the mood is upsetting. That was your word, Himena. Another word you might use is depressing, something like that, but I think upsetting works just fine too. Okay, so that's perfect. So I've answered the question, I've used a bit of evidence, and I've explained what I think it means. That's enough to earn you a handful of marks. If you want top marks, or you're moving towards top marks for a question like this, you've got to have another bit of evidence and another bit of explanation. So let's just try for that. So what could we do if we wanted to add more evidence? Which bit could I add? No friend but his horse. Gringolette keeping him company. Okay, it also says, comma, quote, that speech mark again to show I'm qu quoting from the text, with no friend but his horse. Okay, so that's my evidence, and now I have to again kind of say what do we think that means. So what do, what do we mean? Let's just pull it out, state the obvious. He only has his horse, so there's no other. Is your horse good company? Can you talk to your horse? No. So I mean, we all sometimes, especially if we have pets, you know, are like happier to have a pet than, than nothing at all. I think the idea here is he's got no one to talk to, right? Um, so I could just say that. This shows us that Gawain has no one to talk to. Now, can anybody remember what's going on in this poem? What's he doing? He's on a mission, quest, to use our vocabulary word, to do what? To find the green chapel. Find the green chapel. The Green Chapel and the Green Knight. So I could just elaborate a little bit and show that I know what's going on in the poem by adding that. So I could say, this shows us that Gawain has no one to talk to on his quest to find the Green Chapel. Okay, and the bonus there is that I've shown that I know what's going on in the poem and I've used one of our vocabulary words, right? Okay. 
So that's how we do one of our paragraphs where we've got evidence and explanation and answer to a question for reading.